Wow, wow, wow! Welcome to Tegomatics. I'm doing this video just for you. Based on my last video, I received some fantastic comments and I really appreciate your comment. Those comments were, please do more problem solving on exterior angle of a polygon. And that is what we are doing in this video. Let's start now. <laughs> We are solving more problems on the exterior angle of a polygon. If you are yet to watch the interior and exterior angle of a polygon, which was the last video that I produced, you need to watch it to get proper foundation into what we are doing. Okay, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, this is another opportunity for you to do that. Just click the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button and don't forget to make your comments. I would love to reply your comments. Let's have a quick reminder. In our last video, we stated some theorem. This theorem I used for solving problems involving polygons. Now, one of the first theorem was the sum of the interior of any n-sided polygon is equal to n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree or 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 degree. And another theorem that we stated, the one that affected the exterior angle of a polygon was the sum of any exterior angle of a polygon is equal to 360 degree. Don't also forget that we said that the sum of the interior angle of a polygon and its adjacent exterior angle is equal to 180 degree. Now that you have this, let's move into problem solving. The first problem we have here says, one of the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 22.5 degree. How many sides does the polygon have? Now, don't forget that the question says that the polygon is a regular polygon. What it means is that the angles are equal and all the sides are also what equal. And from our relationship, sum of exterior angle of a polygon is 360 degree. So if we have some of exterior angle of polygon to be 360 degree, if all the sides are equal, it means that if we divide 360 by 22.5 degree, we are going to get the total angle that are exterior. And the total angle is equivalent to the total side. So 360 divided by 22.5 will give us 16. So the total number of sides in this polygon is 16 sides. The second problem we have here says, what is the size of one exterior angle of a regular heptagon? What is the size of one exterior angle of a regular heptagon? Don't forget that a regular heptagon contains seven sides. So, and the sum of the exterior angle of any inside a polygon is what? 360 degree. In other words, if we do 360 degree divided by 7, we will get the exterior angle of each of what? Of the side. So we just come, we say the sum of the exterior angle is 360 degree. So automatically, 360 degree divided by 7 will give us our answer. And our answer is 51.4 degree. So one exterior angle of irregular heptagon is... 51.4 degree. Our third problem says solve for the value of B in the diagram below. Solve for the value of B in the diagram below. If you observe the diagram very well, just look at it, you discover that the diagram is a pentagon. A pentagon and all the angles are located outside the pentagon. It means that the angles are what? Are exterior. All we need to do to solve this problem is just we we'll look at it and we say that the sum of the exterior angle of a polygon is equal to 360 degree. Then we need to add all the exterior angles one after the other then we equate it to 360 degree. So B plus 50 degree plus 96 degree plus 63 degree plus 58 degree everything will give us 360 degree now all you need to do in the next step is you add 50 plus 96 plus 63 plus 58 that will give us 267 now our b will now be 360 degree 
minus 267 degree. So the value of B in the question is 93 degree. This is problem four. This problem four is the very problem I gave in the practice exercise in my last video. So I see that some students were having issues with it. Now let's look at this problem. It's very simple. If you consider it, the question says find x. This is x. We have another x here. Then we have two x here. All the values of x are located on the exterior part of the diagram. Now, what do we do? If we add all the exterior of this diagram, it will give us 360 degree because the sum of exterior angle of a polygon is 360 degree. So first, let's identify all the exterior parts. This is the first part, which is 90 degree. Then we have a second part. Then there's another angle that is supposed to be here, right here. So that is a third part. And we can find this angle on the third part using sum of angle on a straight line. If you look at this line, it's a straight line. So if we subtract 121 from 180, we'll get this third angle. So this is our fourth part. This is the fifth part. We have our sixth part here. And here we have our seventh part. So let's solve. To solve this problem, we say sum of exterior angles is equal to 360. So if we add all our exterior, this is 90, we have 90 degree plus x plus this very angle here, which is 180 degree minus 121 degree plus, we have another one here, x plus 60 degree plus 2x plus this our angle 7 here is similar to this very angle so it is 180 degree minus 136 degree so everything should give us 360 degree so we have 90 degree plus x 180 minus 121 that will give us 59 degree plus x again plus 60 degree plus 2x plus 180 minus 136 That will give us 44 degree. Everything is equal to 360 degree. So if we rearrange it, we have 90 degree plus 59 degree plus 60 degree plus 44 degree plus x plus x plus 2x everything is equal to 360 degree so if we add them together 90 plus 59 plus 60 plus 44 this will give us 253 degree plus x plus x plus 2x will give us 4x is equal to 360 degree so if we collect like terms, 4x will give us 360 degree minus 253 degree. 4x will give us 
360 minus 253 that will give us 107 degree so the value of our x will be 107 degree divided by 4 so this cut this our x is 26.75 degree which is approximately 27 degree so the value of x is 27 degree now this is another kind of problem this will be the last problem we'll be solving today in this problem you discover that we're asked to find the value of y so find y in the diagram below and this is why y is located on the exterior part of this diagram in this kind of problem to solve for y we have to reproduce the diagram we we'll reproduce the diagram in this form so reproducing this diagram will give us two kind of triangle there's a bigger triangle you can see and there is a smaller triangle inside the bigger one don't forget this is a bigger triangle and another triangle so if we consider the reproduced diagram we can label this part probably we we'll call it a and we call this part b so we can solve for both triangle if we look at the bigger triangle we discover that 70 degree which is this plus this angle here 30 degree plus a plus this angle here 40 degree plus b everything will be equal to 180 degree don't forget that sum of angle in a triangle remember a triangle the sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degree so that's what we have now also if you consider the smaller triangle y plus a plus b is equal to 180 degree also sum of angle in a triangle now considering the bigger triangle the bigger triangle is equal to 180 degree and the smaller triangle is also equal to 180 degree so invariably we could say that this very sum here is equal to this if this is equal to 180 and this is equal to 180 that means this is equal to this so we could equate this by saying 70 degree plus 30 degree plus a plus 40 degree plus b is equal to y plus a plus b so if we open our brackets we have 70 plus 30 plus a plus 40 plus b is equal to y plus a plus b we can make y the subject by bringing a and b to this other side so 70 plus 30 that will give us 100 plus a plus 40 plus b when a crosses to this side it becomes minus a and this crosses to this side becomes minus b which is equal to y so if we rearrange we have 100 plus 40 plus a 
minus a plus b minus b equal to y. 100 plus 40 will give us 140. A will cancel out. This will cancel out this. And this will cancel out this. Is equal to y. So the value of our y is equal to 140 degrees. Thank you for watching this video i hope you find it impactful don't forget to click the like button and if you're yet to subscribe to the channel don't forget to subscribe and give your comments like i said earlier i would love to reply your comments